Hey guys, thanks for watching my channel. This is Fun with Brittany. So I'm really excited to talk about my collab with Nail Boo. So this is a sponsored post. Yeah, basically they sent me a few colors. I'm gonna show you guys how that product worked for me. Um, I really liked it. I felt like it was super simple. These are my nails. The color Sunday Brunch. You can see, honestly, they turned out amazing. Um, and this was my very first time doing it. So I'm pretty good at painting my nails myself. And if you're, yeah, if you're good at painting your nails yourself, it's really easy. So the only thing I would do differently is that I watched several YouTube videos before I even started. And then, I don't know, some of them just like, they looked so bad that I thought to myself, well, I better follow the instructions that they gave because, um, you know, I don't want to follow the instructions on the videos and then have it turn out bad and wonder if I had followed the instructions, if it would have been great. So I'm really glad I did that. I don't know what the deal was with some of the other videos, but yeah, if you follow the little instructions that they send you, it's a cute little card here with the steps. They should turn out perfect, like mine, because <laughs> they're perfect. And I'm really excited about this because, yeah, I'm just going to be saving a lot of money and I don't really think anybody should go be going to a salon at this point. So anyways, uh, basically you will see all the steps. I've laid them out for you. The first step is to push back the cuticles using the pusher. So they send you this cute little guy here to do that with and then you can basically just shape your nails and buff them using this file that they send you. Step two is to apply a coat of the base liquid, which is labeled step one, it's right here. Then basically once you do that, you're going to do step three, which is to dip the nail in a 45 degree angle into the build powder, which looks like this. It's the kind of white powder that they send. And so when they're saying 45 degrees, like what they mean is like that. And yeah, so once you dip them in, you're just going to kind of pull it out. And I like to tap the container a little bit to get whatever excess is left back into the container. And then sometimes I took the file and kind of tapped it again to get off any excess but they do send you this cute little brush and this was honestly the best however if I did get it on the top of the nail like I could kind of see a little bit of powder on the top so I just wipe it off I used a rag in the video but in hindsight I would have probably just used a napkin because I think it's better to throw that out afterwards for the end of step three you're just going to wipe the nail off with the little brush. For step four, you will go ahead and apply another coat of base, step one again. And then instead of using the build powder, you're going to go ahead and go into your color. Sunday brunch is like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. After the end of step four, you're just going to repeat step three about three times with the color. You want to dip the color three separate times. Then you will jump back to step five, which is where you're going to apply finally the coat of the activator liquid. And that's basically just going to harden the powder and just wait five minutes once you apply that. And then for step six, go ahead and either wash your hands or wipe them down with alcohol. Number seven, once you're done wiping those down with alcohol, apply another coat of two, the activator. So you'll apply the activator again once they're all washed, five more minutes, and then you can go right ahead and go into step three, the top coat. And if you've done it correctly, you'll notice that the top coat dries in like two minutes. If it's wrong, uh, it won't dry. So that's how you'll know that you may have done something wrong. And yeah, that's it. So you, it says officially to wait five minutes to let the top coat dry. Um, and if you want, you can go in with the second top coat and let that dry as well. So yeah, that was how they turned out and I'm obsessed. I love them. So yeah, welcome boo.
please like this video, comment, and subscribe to my page. You can also find me on Instagram at funwithbrittany, and hopefully you're watching my YouTube right now, so just go ahead and click the little bell to be notified when I make new videos. I will be trying out the next few colors in the coming weeks. These nails are going to last a really long time, so I hate to peel them off to show you colors, but... I may go ahead and do it anyway. I would say based on the way that they've adhered, like I've got at least four weeks, but maybe six. There are two items I ordered on Amazon just to kind of have like a little bit of replenishment and that's gonna be a buffer. Well, a buffer file set, that was like $6. I just thought those would be nice to have because this is gonna go really quickly as far as the buffer and file. Um, and then I did also get like a 15, it, it had a $5 coupon, but I got a 15 to $20 little professional nail drill just because now that I know that I like these and I'm gonna keep doing them. Yeah, I would like to have something to just kind of get it done a little bit more quickly. And the whole process basically the first time took me about an hour. Uh, I think that when I do it a second time, it will probably take more like 40 minutes. So yeah, that's really good. If you've done, if you've done your nails yourself, you know, like that is, that's legend. Like you can't even leave the salon in 45 minutes. So, so yeah, I hope that you guys like Nail Boo as much as me. Go ahead and go down in the comments and let me know. Uh, what colors you've tried and if you've tried the product and what you're thinking about it and thanks for watching